YouTube is perfect for information and entertainment. But you can get lost. Currently, I'm subscribed to more than 300 channels. Some are big and others tiny and specialized. So I thought it would be of value if I share a few of my finds with you from time to time. Like that, you can save time and maybe even discover one or the other exciting channel to subscribe to. Hello wireless enthusiasts! Here is the channel with a strange Swiss distortion in the signal, with a new video around wireless and other exciting stuff. Make sure you subscribe if you do not want to miss the following emissions. Let's start with the probably most viewed ham radio video on YouTube with nearly 3 million views. It was made in 2011, showing how laid back Morse can be if you know it. It looks that the two operators would talk on the phone. Listen to his signal. The dots, the dashes and the spacing are precise as with a modern keyer. And he uses a straight key. So cool! I'm sure he could tell us many stories of a life in a different time. This topic leads me to the second video, which was eye-opening. I'm on my way back to a decent Morse speed of 20 words per minute. Since I was young, I have always trained by writing down the text I heard. As a professional radio operator, this was necessary, of course, because we were part of what we call today protocol stack, and our customers wanted the telegrams on paper. But for ham radio, there is a much better way. Watch this video of G4FON and download his software. It supports the training of head copying, like the old man in the last video. You can import any text file and create an MP3 to listen to when you drive. Or you listen with a PC and see the text after it was transmitted for checking. Currently, I listen to Sherlock Holmes on Morse. Not easy, but extremely rewarding. The RSGB channel, by the way, has some excellent talks of famous people like Rob Sherwood, who creates the famous list of the best performing transceivers. Now enough nostalgia. The following section is about essential skills videos. The first is on how to wind air coils and measure their values. This channel is focused on audio, but I think we can use the same skills for RF coils too. The next is a video about impedance matching transformers. It is the first of a series of three, and the creator is a young chap who extensively uses circuit simulation to explain what happens. Maybe you browse through his other videos while you are there. He is an excellent teacher, but unfortunately he has no ham license yet. I try to convince him, but without success. Maybe you are more successful? Next is about building LC filters, a crucial topic for all involved in RF, also in digital modes. Nick has a few videos where he shows us how to create such filters, and by showing how it is done, he also takes away some stress from us. This video is about a high pass filter, others are about band pass and quartz filters. The last video for today is entertaining as well as technically very interesting. A few years ago, two young engineers could reactivate an old and nearly forgotten satellite using new radio and modern SDR technology. In this video, they use their knowledge to start communication with an original Apollo communication system. Curious Mark shows us that back in the 1960s and 1970s, they already had advanced technology to transfer TV signals as well as data from the Moon back to Earth. However, the technology was complex and very expensive. And it shows that today, with modern SDR technology, we can build similar systems in our shacks for a few dollars. A perfect time for us radio experimenters. That is all for today. As always, you find the relevant links in the description. 73 to everybody and please consider supporting the channel by using the links in the description. 
See you in the next episode.